Wow, the Land of Light. I've always wanted to come to the home of the Ultras. Thanks for bringing me. Uh, no problem. Uh, this trip isn't all fun, though. I have some business to take care of first. Oh, yeah? Yeah, family business. Don't worry, man. I'm sure I can find something to do while you deal with your family. Actually, Rodan, the main reason I brought you along is... Well, my father can be a little difficult, and my mother a bit unemotional. Uh... I mean, they're... Uh... How do I say this? It's alright. You can tell me anything, man. My mom and dad... Are ultra father and ultra mother. Well, yeah. No, you don't get it. They're the ultra father and the ultra mother. Wait. They're the king and queen. Yeah. So that... That would make you... Yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. I know, let it sink in. You're Prince of the Ultras? Yeah, yeah, I'm Prince of the Ultras. So you're in line for the throne. Uh, I'm second in line for the throne. My older brother Zoffy is first in line. Wow. How many of you are there? Well, most of my brothers aren't actually my brothers. Uh, that's just what Ultramen call each other. Uh... You know, the father title is just the title of the ruler of the land, you see? It's just part of our culture. Yeah, I get that. Uh, so I have few actual biological brothers, but, you know, like Ultraman Max and stuff, they're more like distant cousins, if anything. I thought Max was a bit of a closer cousin to you. Yeah, he is, but Noah's really distant, so is the Great. Uh, there are some Ultras that are much, much older than me that I still call brother. Huh. Wow. This is... educational. Yeah, well, you're in my country now. So that's how it is. I've been living in the monster world too long. I guess it's okay to be home. Why do you live on my side of town anyways? Well... You'll see when we visit my parents. Well, come on then, let's go. Uh, you sure you don't want to do something else first? Come on. Oh, jeez. Uh, hello. Hello, how may I? Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's me. Good to see you too, Mom. And a kaiju, how unorthodox. I'm Rodan, your majesty. It's a pleasure to meet you. I know your son very well. Yes. How nice. What brings you to... the Land of Light, my son? Well, uh, I found something the other day. Well, more like the other month. Uh, and I kinda, maybe, sorta, a bit, possibly, but not really, just a little... I could have, mm -hmm. uh, I could have misplaced something that I found, and I would really like to talk to Dad about it. You always had a keen sense for danger. Unless, of course, it was hindered by alcohol. Hmm. Of course, you do not need my permission to see your own father. Well, last time I talked to him, it didn't go too well. I'm sure you remember that. Indeed. I just wanted to make sure he was in a good mood before I went in and saw him. Your father is in the same mood he has always been in. God damn it. Come on, Ultraman. No, no, no. You came to see your family. I know it's been a really long time. So, come on, let's see your family. All right, but only if you come with me. I'm thinking maybe he won't be as overbearing if I have a friend with me. All right. Is that all right with you, ma'am? You are a guest of the prince. Who am I to say no? 
<sighs> okay. Let's do it, Rodan. All right, let's go. You have a guest, my king. Has Mr. Gojira found the artifact? No. This is a visit from your son. Zofi delivered his report to me yesterday. What more could he possibly have? Your other son. Send him in. Of course, my love. I will send him in immediately. Whoa, this place is huge. Don't speak out of turn. I'm serious, man. He will get so pissed. Why are you here? You and Mom still know how to give the warmest greetings. I'll give you guys that. I'm not in the mood today, son. I'm not in the mood. Yeah, I know. You haven't been in the mood to talk to me since I was an infant. Uh... Oh, maybe I should, uh... No, stay here. For the love of God, stay here. Did you come back just to argue with your father? Like some sort of child? There is a crisis looming, son. I am a king. I have a kingdom to run. I cannot afford this distraction. Yeah, I leave it to you to think your son's just a distraction. Why have you come here, boy? I wanted to ask you about something. Something I found. Ask away. Well, relatively recently I had a bit of a tumble off the couch and I found something interesting. A type of cylinder. How does this concern me, son? Well, I feel like I remember seeing something like it in your vault as a kid. It's black and has little blue lights all down the sides and three black fins. Describe that to me again. It's a black cylinder, blue lights all down the sides and little tiny squares, and it has four fins on, you know, on its round bits. Yeah, I remember that thing too. You showed it to me. You both saw it? What did you do with it? Well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's the thing. You're gonna think this is funny. Son, the acquisition of that artifact, if it is what I think it is, could be life or death. Oh, well, that's too bad, because I, um... I sort of lost it. You what? I was having a hard time that night. I've been through a lot, okay? So I went and got drunk, and when I woke up the next morning, I no longer had it. You imbecile. Do you not think of anyone but yourself? Hey, I don't think that's fair. I mean, he didn't mean to silence Kaiju. Whoa. You can't talk to me like that. He can, Rodan. We're in his kingdom. It's his turf. I don't know why I expected any better. Leave the kingdom at once. Father, I go back to living with your kaiju friends. I have to inform King Gojira of what I have discovered here. Mr. Gojira? What would he want with our leader? <sighs> Damn it, Dad. You know what? If I... If I... Never mind. Never mind. Ultraman, come on. What's wrong with you? Excuse me? That's your son, who you haven't seen in years, and you really wouldn't even say hello to him. Learn your place, Kaiju. I know you're a king and all, and I respect that. I have a king too, but... He's a lot more laid back compared to you. You're... I mean, your kingdom seems to run fine, but maybe you could put some of that energy into your family. I do not need your opinion on my family. You're lucky I don't have you jailed for speaking to me this way. Well, that would make you a dictator, so I certainly hope not. Both of you stay out of my sight. If you find that artifact, take it to Mr. Gojira immediately. Alright, but what is it? 
That's need to know information, and you certainly do not need to know. You are excused. Jeez, likes the queen a lot more. I take it your reunion was not as peaceful as you had hoped. Jeez, what gave that away, Mom? Was it all the fucking shouting? Please forgive your father. He has never been the same since the Monster Island Wars. And after losing your brother, Taro... Yeah, well, we all lost Taro, Mom. Not just him. I know he was first in line for the throne, but still. Thank you for being patient with my family, Rodan. Please visit any time you wish. Thank you, Your Majesty. You have a beautiful kingdom. Yeah, and it's got a beautiful bar, hopefully. I need to get wrecked right now. There is a bar on the east side. Promise me you will drink responsibly. <sighs> I can't promise anything after today, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. Uh, yeah, I guess I will head out as well. Uh, thank you once again, Your Majesty. <laughs> hey. You all right, man? Part of me really thought he would have changed. Part of me really thought he would have missed me, you know? I'm sure he missed you in his own way, man. No, he didn't. He didn't want to see me. I know my mom has a hard time showing her emotions. The war... It really messed them both up, you know, but... But at least my mom tries. I love her. I love my dad, too. I just... I don't know, man. Hey, maybe we should skip the drinks today, huh? All right. Fine. Can we just go back home? Of course. <laughs>